I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the mo most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't want to smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from you. <laughs> Those clowns over there. What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping in to the video or broadcast right now. It's much appreciated. I do have problems, but this is seriously fucked up. I um I'm doing this video basically over again. This is a joke with no punchline. And for fair reasons. Okay. As you can see right now, Trevor has a thing with the clowns. Now, I uploaded a video. I uploaded a video the other day. And, um, I was basically, uh, upset with a, uh, another YouTuber out there by the name of. All silenced. Okay. Pretty big channel. 280k subs, something like that. 280,000 subs. So, obviously, I'm not going to go to war with a big channel like that because uh, it would be dumb for me to, right? Probably stomp the shit out of me. I only got 5,000 of you motherfuckers that give a fuck. So, I obviously don't. Um, care if I feel I'm right on something and I feel uh, uh, the right thing needs to be done I'm gonna do it I don't care how outnumbered I am and I basically uh, you know went after this guy saying how uh, how much bullshit it is that he put on his channel a clown Easter egg that I didn't feel was real it looked like a fucking mod it looked fucking stupid it didn't look real and so I went ahead and I tested it out live with you guys, and it didn't work. So then I talked more shit, and he messaged me last night when I was at work, and he was like, "Dude, you know I don't know why you you know talk shit about me and everything, but that wasn't bullshit." I'm thinking, why would you, you know? And I'm starting to really think. I'm like, wait a minute, this guy. There's no reason to, to make this stuff up, and then he has no reason to, to, def, to uh, defend the fact of this Easter egg if it's not real. Like, so maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not looking into this as much as I should be. And so, first of all, I want to go ahead and make a public apology because it's the right thing to do. Um, I've said it before. I'll say it again. If I'm wrong. I will be the first one to admit it, and I will be the first one to say, I'm sorry, I apologize, whatever, and actually mean it enough to do it live, publicly, or whatever. And I just got done talking with this guy for well over an hour. Me and him sat in a PlayStation uh, chat, and we talked for well over an hour about this Easter egg. 
And, um, I believe him. I, I, I hate to say it, because I know you guys are probably thinking, what the fuck? Why? Why? And if you guys trust me at all, if you believe anything that I ever put out there, because you know that I'm not going to lead you guys in a wrong direction. I hope you guys know that by now. I'm not going to send you guys on wild goose chases. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to do my homework. And I'm going to put out the best mystery content or Easter egg videos concerning Grand Theft Auto and anything else that I do uh, for you guys. Okay? And I talked to this guy. And this, this dude's dead serious. This shit happened. It happened for him. And the more he started talking and explaining things, the more I realized I should have waited before I opened my big fucking mouth. Because he got his information from another video. Let me, let me go ahead and tell you guys this information. And I'm going to actually have to do this video in two small parts. Like, right now is the live broadcast, and then I have to go to work. As soon as I am done doing this right now, I have to leave and fly to work. But when I get home in the morning, I'm going to add to this video. So tomorrow, if you guys don't mind clicking on this video again and re-watching at least a segment of it, so you can see something that will help prove this Easter egg, as well as what I'm about to tell you guys. So, he uh, sent me a couple videos. There's a, there's a video uh, of, of uh, that shack over there by the water. There's a bunch of guys that show up. You know, it looks like at nighttime, they're all wearing clown face paints. Um, he actually got his information from somebody under the name of Davy Dustin. D-A-V-I-D-U-S-T-I-N. And this guy came out with this video a couple years ago. And it shows the same thing. It shows the same exact thing. Except for in his video, his clown attacked him. It actually attacked his ass. And then All Silence makes a video. He kills him with a sticky bomb before the clown has a chance to attack. And what it seems to be, because it took All Silence a while, a couple hours, three, four hours to get this to work. And what he did, which makes perfect sense to me, was he... He had to get the weather right, he had to get the time right, possibly even the day right. So we know that at 2.02 .02 in the afternoon, so 14.02 in game, is when this thing will spawn. Okay. Um, raining type of weather seems to be what you need for this to happen. And we know how Rockstar is. We, they proved it with the Bigfoot. The, the weather... The time, the day, all that shit seems to play into having these things trigger and spawn or happen. Okay, another thing is he has a 100% save file on that file that he used. Okay, so, so far, 100% raining weather, 14.02 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this thing should spawn. And... What he sent me, which I'm going to add in the video tomorrow, so if you come back tomorrow after I edit this, after I get out of work, um, right about now, you shoot me and the clowns win. You shoot me and the clowns win. You shoot me and the clowns win. Okay. Well, then you just seen the clip he sent me. And while we were talking, he sent me that clip. And that clip was basically him trying to get it to spawn again for me, to try to prove it to me. And he actually had a character, an NPC, say something along the lines of, if you kill me, that means the clowns won, or that means the clowns have won. Why in the world at this location, at that same time, would one of those NPCs even say that if this wasn't an Easter egg that's true to the area? Okay, and I think it's even bigger than just a small Easter egg. I think it's actually tied into the Chiliad mystery. And that's why for the past couple days, you have seen me focusing on it. First, to, to see if it was real because I had feeling it was tied to the mystery. 
and then to debunk it and now to say I'm sorry <laughs> because it wasn't bullshit it is real I do believe it I will get it to spawn for you guys sometime soon if you guys can try to do it on your own that would be awesome get in contact with me if you do we'll be sure to get that shit on YouTube and we can even do a discussion about it whatever you guys want to do but if you guys can make it happen please get in contact with me but either way until I can do it or you can do it we're gonna have to try to figure this out now the one thing that I really feel makes this credible is that when you come here at this time, there's two boars. One or two boars that you can get to spawn by walking in this motel. This broken hotel motel. And why in the world would there be a boar that spawns in a broken room and, and run past you or run away? Or sometimes sit still. Now think about it guys. I came out with that video, what, six months ago, Unleashing the Truth? Time travel is what it's called. Unleashing the Truth time travel. If you haven't watched it, and you got an extra hour of your time to spend, go check it out. But in that video, I go over the word legendary and how it's big with Grand Theft Auto and with Rockstar. And in Red Dead Redemption, we had a legendary boar. And that legendary boar, his name was Gordo the Boar. Okay? And we have Mount Gordo right here. We also have, in the very immediate area, we have the Yellow Jack Inn, which has a boar's head on the wall. Okay, even in the new biker DLC in the motorcycle clubhouse, there's a boar's head on the wall. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff connecting that, that makes sense. Also, by the altruist camp, we have a boar that spawns right here. There's a boar that spawns right on this little road. And we have the altruist camp right next to it with a sacrificial stone. Okay? Now, I even think that other people have tried to get this. I think even Trippy Commentary. Somebody tried to get that boar sacrifice on that rock. So, if you think about it, there's a lot of connections here. Us hunters are definitely going to see what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm sure you guys are definitely following me right here. So, maybe there's a connection with this boar, with these clowns. Something, okay? Because it's making a lot of sense from all the research I've done, the stuff I've posted, the stuff I found, discovered, showing you guys, researched, all that stuff. And if you remember not too long ago, I believe it might have been not .4, I'm not sure, but somebody came out with a video showing a lot of cut content that never made it to Grand Theft Auto V. And one of those uh, pieces of content was, um, for example, I think the one heist uh, with, with Mr. Madrazo. Um, there was a heist involved there, and you had to be Michael and Trevor, and you had to dress up like clowns. And you had to go to his place, and I don't remember exactly the whole story, but all that was cut. So there they are again, yet again, incorporating clowns into the storyline even. But, I mean, it was cut, but they still, for some reason, they want to focus on clowns. We have Trevor's best, well, one of his friends, if you want to call him friends, or punching bags, Wade. Wade's all dressed up like a juggalo or a clown. I mean, they're, they're throughout the whole entire game. I open up this video or broadcast with uh, Trevor fighting clowns when he gets high. So, we got the boar, which is legendary. The legendary gore of the boar. We got the clown connections. All the stuff. Then we have the infamous uh, way of Rockstar. Rockstar's pattern of having specific day, time, weather. So, everything sounds good, makes sense. And this guy's got almost 300,000 subs. Why would he sit there and talk with me over an hour? Dude, who am I? I'm a guy with 5,000 subs. Why would he try to convince me? Why, why does he give a fuck? He wouldn't. But he, he's trying to tell me, dude, this is definitely real. And I believe him. I'm sorry, but I'm a good judge of character, man. And this guy's not fucking around. I, I truly believe him. So if you guys don't mind, try to see if you can figure this out. I think it's real. Come back tomorrow, check out that little clip, and um, hear it for yourself. That adds more credibility to this situation. Before I go, I'm going to try to find him myself again. It is uh, 1318, so in 45 seconds or minutes in the game, we should have uh, the clowns appear.
I hope to God it works this time out of all the times. I really hope it works. That would just... I would shit my pants. There's a boar. Why? Think about it, guys. That's a little strange, right? That's a little strange. I'm not getting this thing to spawn, dude. See, he was also doing it on a Monday. Let me add that um, to the whole lore of it all. Right now, it's uh, Friday in my game. He did it on a Monday. And he also used Franklin. Okay? So, Franklin, Monday, 1402. Um... Raining, what else? Raining, 100%. 100% raining, 1402, Franklin, Monday. Try all that stuff, guys. See if you can make this thing happen. I don't have the time right now to go over it, but watch All Silenced video. Watch that other guy that I mentioned's video. I mean, I really do believe him. I don't think he's making this shit up. He has two... You know, you could tell by their track record. Look at all his videos. He doesn't have anything on there that's lies or bullshit, and then that would be the only one out of out of nowhere. He's gonna wait till he has almost three hundred thousand subs to start fucking lying and bullshitting. See, I knew something wasn't right when I watched the video. That's kind of why I was so mad. I was like, "Why the fuck are you doing this, dude? Why why would you fucking do this shit?" I got pissed, and I just didn't think it was in the moment. It was on the spot. That's one of the problems when you do live broadcasting and you have a short views. You are. Uh, Sometimes say things he shouldn't, so hopefully this guy uh, forgives and forgets. Hopefully you guys don't mind that I, uh, you know, hopefully we all can move on, get along, <laughs> and find some killer clowns in Grand Theft Auto V. So I'll talk to you guys later. I have uh, almost um, have that video uploaded, the other one that I've been talking about for a while, so... It's uh, looking like one of your guys' lucky days soon because that'll be up very shortly. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for jumping in. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. New discussion videos coming up soon with, uh, what was it, MPX Gaming or uh, Zion Shad, I believe. So look out for that. Look out for one from My Name is Mittens. Maybe even Fearless Force. Who knows? Maybe even Trippy Commentaries. Fuck it. Let's get the whole goddamn crew involved. So, new content coming your way, new videos, new mystery videos. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you guys so much for jumping in. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I gotta go jerk it at work. <laughs> and, uh, so, thank you guys. Take it easy. Until next time. Ta-ta. And, as motherfucking always. Peace.